23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening and thanks for joining us for this 23 ABC News digital update. I'm Bayan Wang. The county is looking to keep its public parks safe tonight. Now it says it's rolling out an enforcement operation to monitor crimes at Panorama Park. We spoke with Kern's Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop about what the operation means for public safety. This is just a, uh, uh, a special enforcement effort uh, up over the weekend uh, where we pick three days and we're going to elevate uh, patrols and uh, the presence of uh, uh, law enforcement personnel up there through our rangers, uh, getting out of their cars, walking through the park, uh, being present uh, to, uh, to provide some additional um, uh, patrols and, and some uh, uh, eyes on up there over these three days to make sure that uh, the park's being used safely and uh, that, uh, uh, you know, to hopefully cut down on some of the illegal activity that's happening up there. Also, up says Panorama Park is a beloved area in Kern County, but that recently the park has reported an uptick in certain crimes. Those crimes include things like parking overnight in the park, vandalism, and people firing guns in the park. Also, up added that Operations like this are just meant to keep the area safer. Starting tonight at 10 p.m., extra rangers will patrol the park until 2 a.m. This increased security will last until Saturday. All right, now to an update on the Kristen Smart case. The man accused of helping his son hide Smart's body is out of jail tonight. Ruben Flores' lawyer says he posted bail Wednesday night. The 80-year-old Ruben and his son Paul were arrested last week as part of the decades-long investigation to Smart's disappearance. Paul Flores is accused of killing the college freshman during an attempted rape in 1996. Investigators believe Smart's body was once buried in the backyard of the senior Ruben's home, but that it was recently moved. So far, both men have pleaded not guilty. And we're tracking some strong winds again here tonight. Another wind advisory in effect for our mountains and into the desert. That's going to go all the way until 2 a.m. on Friday. So we have some stronger winds. But we also have some warmer temperatures to talk about here. Temperatures rising tomorrow close to 90 for places like Ridgecrest to China Lake up to about 84 for us here in Bakersfield. That is not what we're tracking, though, as we head into the weekend. Actually, a nice cool down heading our way all the way down into the 60s Sunday and Monday. And yes, we do see rain chances. I think the best chance for rain is actually going to be Sunday night into early Monday as high as 70 to even 80. 80% here in the valley. So that's looking good. Not looking good in the long term, though. We do warm way back up as we head into next week. Seven day forecast for our mountain communities. I start the rain chances a little bit lower on Sunday. I think it's going to take a little longer for the moisture made to make it into the mountains, but I think it's going to last a little bit longer into Monday. And for your top news and weather headlines, you can head to our website, turn 23.com. Take care.